And Catherine lines up in lane number seven in this first semi-final. Only 19. Been in athletics and been a recognised figure in athletics since she was 12. When she set the best time uh, for the sprint then. Had the world best time for a 14-year-old. And now at the age of 19 on the international championship scene. Let's take you through the full lineup. Fomenko of the Ukraine, drawn on the inside. Leshova of Russia in two. Silky Knoll of Germany in three. Malchagina of Russia in four. Georgieva of Bulgaria in five. Jardim of Portugal in six. Then Catherine Mary of Great Britain in seven. And Pekula uh, Anika Aby of Switzerland in lane eight. Well, Catherine Mary in trouble. But Silky Knoll looked very good. Qualified by winning her heat in 23.25 reached the semi-finals of uh, the last three major championships. Malchagina, the Russian, won her heat in 23.32, seventh in the world championships last year in Stuttgart, the European indoor champion. Georgieva, Bulgaria, Bulgarian champion, the sports student from Varna, 23.35 in her heat. Jardim of Portugal, reached the semi-final of the European Championships four years ago. And Golan Bourne, quarter-finalist, the Olympic 100 metres too. Catherine Mary had such a good season. It's such a shame that the injury came, as she said, at the wrong time. Coached by Keith Antoine, made her UK debut. That's the United Kingdom debut in 1992. And Lika Aby of Switzerland, 23.42 at best, just a little slower than qualifying for this semi-final. The first four go through to the final. Catherine, the United Kingdom champion, the three A's champion, and set personal bests in both 100 and 200 meters. And then came the injury, and she certainly didn't look convincing in the first round, and hasn't got a particularly good draw as a result of that uh, performance. The draw seeded into the semi-final, and uh, she's got uh, a lot of power inside her. Silky Knoll fifth in the European final four years ago when it was held in the former Yugoslavian split student of Slavic literature this young woman will she go through as one of the first four to the final Fomenko the Ukraine, the Ukrainian champion drawn on the inside and Leshkova of Russia drawn in two Nol in three, Malchagina in four Dorjeva in five Jardim in six, Mary in seven and Elika Aby in at lane eight. The first semi-final of the women's 200 metres. Wow. Away first time, Noel going well and so is Malchagin at the moment and Mary being caught at the moment by Jardim and Jardim being caught by Georgieva. A lot of action and Lika under pressure. Now Malchagina and Sol and Noel. Malchagina and Noll, these two at the moment with the Jardim of Portugal coming through and uh, Leshova on the inside. Noll from Malchagina, from Jardim, those three. Mary in eighth place. We'll give you the fourth qualifier in a moment, but we promised uh, Silky Noll would be useful. But the, the injuries to Catherine Mary have taken away that edge and taken away what uh, surely would have been a place in the final had she been fit. Null away very strongly in the third lane, away from uh, Leshkova, the Russian insider. Uh, Georgieva, the all-red strip in the center, going well. Malchagina, the Russian, seventh in the world final last year, in lane four. Really powerful off the bend. Eases down a little in the straight. Georgieva, the Bulgarian, still battling. And Alika of Switzerland on the near side. Null, Malchagina, Jardim, and Georgieva was the fourth qualifier. Very relaxed, particularly by Malchagina in second place. Let's just have a look at uh, the two leading athletes in that race. Silky Noll on the right, the German former world indoor finalist looking very comfortable but uh, Malchagina looked very, very strong. 
Uh, Catherine Mary's time, 23.55. There's the full result. Noel, 22.75. Uh, Malchagina, 22.90. Jardim, 23.25. Georgieva, 23.29. They're the qualifiers. Uh, Catherine Mary, as I said, 23.55. I wonder, Stuart, actually, whether Catherine Mary ran in spite to her of that injury because she was advised or because she wanted to do. I don't like to see a youngster actually running with a problem. It merely aggravates it. <laughs>